Hello everybody, I am a 64 year old handicapped guy in a wheelchair because of my MS, as you can see, and I just want to let everybody know that if I can do this bee re rearing thing and make get honey, then pretty much anybody can. You shouldn't be afraid, just y'all just go and go for it. Sneak around this other side over here. Hold on. I can get right in the, right in the shot. I can't see it. Ooh, I can see it good now. Yeah, you got a good side. All right, whatever. Whenever you're ready. One, two, three, go. Yeah, there you go. Try, yeah, try to rake them on over in there to get the queen in, get the queen in the hive. Yeah, there Nice there. <laughs> get the queen in the hive. I'm looking for her. Let's see her. Careful where you step. There's bees all over the ground. Yeah, I thought I'd leave it open in the front so they could, uh, you know, if the queen gets in there, we, if we can basically... I'm looking to see. I see her. You're pretty good at finding her. Yes, it's a very nice home. Yes. Well, they're winded. Are they flapping their wings? Yeah. Okay. That means she's in there, right? Supposedly, yeah. You're yeah, telling everybody, the hey, the, in there trying to do the it queen too. is in here, come on. It's funny, I can feel them bouncing off my head. Oh, yeah. Okay, there. Look here. On the ground. They're kind of walking around looking for something. I hope we got her in there. Need to kind of brush the bees off of the area where another frame goes in and slip another frame down in there. I got one juicy frame and then I got these starters. Okay. The other ones are in the freezer. Now brush off both sides where you get another frame down in there. So now we got what? Four frames in there? In there. <laughs> uh, it'll go down. All right. Yeah, four in there. Okay, go ahead and see if you can slip that other one down in there. And that'll be all the frames in there. It's just a five frame new. I 
hope she's in there. They're not going back up on the land. Yeah, because if she was up there, that's where they would be, right? Yeah. They'd be going back to there. They're, they're kind of gathering on this. Can you see them fanning? Some of them, they weren't they a fan as much now. A lot of them over there. <laughs> yeah, look, look, look. See him? Maybe she's over there. Hopefully she'll come in down into the hive. Hey, you guys, you don't have to fly anywhere. She'll go into the hive. They'll all finish coming on over here. Yeah, so I don't even have to do a split for you yeah. now. Yeah, look, see, let's see him. Flapping it up over there. Okay, yeah, everybody. There's some more over there than over oh, here. Well, that's kind of where they all, a lot of them fell. A lot of them fell on the outside. Yeah, it's going back in. <laughs> Looks like they're building up on this side of over here and crawling on up. So do you leave them in there for a couple days or a week? Oh, I'd leave them in there for a couple weeks. Yeah, two or three weeks. Then take Just, them off, put them in my hive and then. Right, I, I mean, I'd leave them in there until you, I mean, you can do an inspection. You got it on? Yeah. You can do an inspection on this. This one's checking out. Oh, I moved. It was like sitting on the rim of your hat. So every time you move, he'd go. Like he was just a lookout. Let me get a good piece of uh, Yeah, leave them in there for a couple of weeks. And, you know, do a hive inspection on them. And be sure they're, you know, you've got brood and... Uh, yeah, I can see it. You can see their wings flapping. Winding. They're flapping, they're letting everybody know. Here she is. So we're just leaving for a little while. You're not in a hurry, are you? We're just leaving no. for a little bit and see if they'll all, you know, start going down in there.